Battletech. So one thing about Battletech is it's a strategic combat game that's take turns. But to make it feel more alive, they do a lot of cutscene animations while you're doing your battles in combat. And while this makes it a very much alive because you get to watch the mechs shoot, you get to zo you know, watch the camera zoom in on the mechs, it also slows down the combat. So if you're one of those people that wants to speed up the combat, you want to lower the amount of cutscenes, all you need to do is go into your settings in Battletech by clicking the wrench. In gameplay, you're going to look at your attack cameras and you're going to lower your attack camera. See, it uses an algorithm to determine how often and how frequently it does attack zoom and various zoom types. So you're going to want it to adjust it to your preference and playstyle and how quickly you want the combat to move. If you don't want any cutscenes animation, you just want it raw, fast, 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 enemies shoot, you shoot, you move, enemies move, without the time it takes to do the camera follows, then you can just set everything to never. But I like some interactive cameras to show some like special critical hits and things like that. So what I like having is, you know, about midway to a little bit lower than midway to reduce the amount of ink cutscenes, you know, with melee cinematics and jump cinematics. So I like it just slightly under halfway. I found that it was a little too frequent. I did notice that occasionally the cutscenes would lock and then you'd have to restart the mission. It only happened to me twice so far while playing it for about 30 hours. But you may want to adjust the amount of um, cinematics that happen during combat itself to help improve the speed and keep the flow going when you're doing combat in Battletech. This is a little tutorial on adjusting your attack cameras, your follow cameras, and your cinematic cameras in Battletech. Thank you for watching.